Kraken. Mouse, how are you, my boy? Greetings. I should go. Battle climbed into the hills. I need your eyes, my friend. Hey, who's that? Everyone all right? Help the wounded and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Abel. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Half Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Temple round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Ah! <laughs> 
Are you wounded? If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faramid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Kings and jarls, bishops and earls, I've met them all. Half done is but a man like all the rest. He conquered East Anglia, took Northumbria for his own, and sacked London. What warrior could claim more? Winning battles is easy. It's winning trust that brings an end to war. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. He's at Dunnercaster, the towering castle by the river. Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? I 
can fetch this if you want. Can use this. Anything else? I have to go. See you soon. The way is blocked. them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Havdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the Karls and Chaels of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishi's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felt them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Jarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty! Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Wine goblets of a Roman kneelers. Give me a horn of mead, any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced smirking glory hound. My Lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world.
Drink good, honest meat, not that bitter Frankish wine. Show you a wonder. All this we conquered this, he and I, together. You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you?
Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravid, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his trees. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. We can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Farouet fool you. He is hiding something. Good luck. Blessings upon you. Thank you. It's the hard Cast about this land, my friend. Here, friend. Oh, a goodly soul. It's the hate that is not daily. Take this. 
blessings upon you. Thank you. Sitting up in Hafton's tower. The heads that are empty. Hey, you! My eyes and soul do not deceive me. You are the wolf kissed, are you not? Come, come! Greetings, Bard. That face, that scowl. Yes, indeed, you must be the wolf kissed. Oh, your fame and generosity are well known to me. You have a flatterous tongue, Bard. But how do you know me? The deeds of the great are but stuck in trade. The brave are wealthy, the wealthy are brave. So it goes. How about it, Eivor the Wanderer? Part with a queen's ransom and live on in immortal song? Silver comes and silver goes, but the fame of the great endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, hold tight while my muse inspires me. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the skies. Succumb to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf kissed. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. Tis the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown. Join battle together and reap glory's bounty. There is always need for raiders. My chance will come. Let the sail out! Let's have a song. Let's hear a story. Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Aeon. A brooding warrior with a face of stone and oak-hard arms. On a raid in Korla, we shored up along the edge of a forest and explored until we came to people parks. A large farm. It was night. And all were asleep, so we set about plundering the place in the quiet of the heat, taking sheep and goats as we pleased. It was then that Ael saw a farmhand and pressed the boy Green from sail. a family's hidden silver. The farmhand squawked hey, like hold a on you. being hit beneath an anvil at the slip forge. The silver Threat was your no wings, trouble to lift. That must be fat of its camp ahead.
cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungag up, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. Faravid! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Falavid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons build more churches than barns and fill them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. Gold is fine, but victory is our treasure. What's your plan? To open their bellies with my knife. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I am here to fight Picts. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and put you back. Are a sneaky lot, masters of guile and ambush. Have it here. We made this cave is a passage. The picks are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away.
bird. side of the wall. Ah, boil you! The Picts marched this winter with help from an unknown quarter. The Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Danes, run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster! Ulfr! Ulfr! Glory for Ulfr! Raiders south of the wall. Don't like it. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move.
The Picts don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason, something to gain. The guards here are vigilant. Now, to hunt down the Peck Chief.
Only the lost are those. My thanks, Eivor. That's the chief. Now to shoot him down. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The Picts are Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That stark satyr I'll never mess with. Worry about the pits later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Don't make me say it twice. Crack the wine and drink with me. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. 
He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. All right, we fight. And I swear by Sif's blade, I'll say nothing to Hafton. Good. Good. Victory is ours. I must return to Donacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Waltz. Like his cock, eh? Yeah?